What's up, Blues fans? My name's Darwin Aguinaldo. I am today the uh, fan reporter for the Blues today. And right now we're going to have the Blues 2012 squad announcement. So get excited. We're going to go upstairs, meet the guys, interview them, ask a few other questions that you guys have been asking me to ask them. Pretty crazy. I'm excited. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. But hey, get excited. Blues, baby. Guys, it's me again. As you can see behind me right now, we have the, all the media right now. They're all arriving, just waiting for the, the management and also a few more players to turn up. But hey, check it out. Get excited. Blues 2012 season is going to be happening and it's going to be exciting. <laughs> As you know, every man has his place in rugby. One of the beauties of rugby is that you, we have our big, powerful guys and we have our little guys. Uh, here we are. Larger front rows and the lighter nimble back. So we're actually going to get Charlie to demonstrate, and then I um, I'm going to ask Gareth as the nimble back to have a go and see where he hits. Hey guys, check it out I'm with Luke Braid, one of our awesome loose fours for the Blues. Um, he's also sporting a very good. November for you. It's only November 2nd and he's already got it sorted, but uh, hey, I think he cheated a little bit. Um, got a few questions from the fans on Twitter and Facebook. Obviously, I uh, said a little bit before. Um, how does it feel like playing with your older brother? Uh, yeah, it was awesome last year. It was a pity that he got injured. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. He's been training really hard yeah. this year. So. And so, obviously, with this Rugby World Cup 2011, 2015, on, on, on four years' time, You'll be 27. What do you What do you think about then? I'd probably just take it yeah. one one year at a time. Really, uh, next year's big year, with, especially yeah. with my and Perry, Perry here, because it's not a really good squad. An opportunity. I definitely want to win a yes. Super Rugby competition. Cool man. So I know if you do that, it gives you a better chance yeah. to play for a winning team. So of course, always. That's awesome, man. And also maybe a few funny questions. I don't, I don't know for all the Facebook and Twitter fans. Um, boxes of briefs, man. <laughs> okay, and um, bananas or apples? Apples. Oh, okay. In the morning. In the morning. Yeah. Get, get that. <laughs> no worries. No worries. So that's Luke Braid. Obviously, um, one of our standout um, loose forwards for the Blues. Um, get excited. We're going to see a lot more of the other Blues players. So come and join us. Hey, guys, check it out. It's me, Darwin, again. I'm representing you guys, Facebook on and Twitter. Um, here on the beautiful Deloitte building in the beautiful city of Auckland with the man Big Grizz, Charlie from Moena. As you can see, he's um, spotting the big ass November Beard as well. <laughs> but hey, um, Charlie, I've got a few questions for you from the fans. Just a few things. Um, how does it feel like, obviously, going into the 2012 season with the All Blacks winning the Rugby World Cup? I mean, obviously, a big inspiration for you. Yeah, obviously. Oh, I'm really excited for the next year. And, um, we're training really hard to... Before preseason, and then we're training the harder for preseason. So I'm looking forward to it. No worries. And also, just um, obviously, you probably heard me laugh inside in the, in the conference room when you stepped. What was it? Who was it? Digby? Oh, no, no. It was uh, Umanga Marshall. Oh, he remembers it as well. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, man, that was, that was a beautiful step. Well, obviously, you're going to get more, more footwork this, throughout this upcoming season. A lot more skills coming through. Yeah, obviously, like, I enjoy running the ball. So yeah. Yeah, when I get the opportunity, I'll just try to do what I do. Right. You know, and, and, and for the fans out there, you guys watching him on TV, probably see him in the streets. I don't know about you guys, he's a big guy, but um, I think he's just lost a bit of weight this year. Uh, you know, obviously coming up to Christmas, he's looking pretty good, man. Ah, uh, obviously, yeah, well, I think about the hard roof on pets. So oh, okay, fair enough. Pets lost me on my toes, but no, nah, it's been training a little bit, so just got to try to get in shape, man. Cool. So yeah, because obviously this is an issue. Nice. Okay, and just just a, just a few funny questions. Just um, one thing, for example, I mean, if you were down an alleyway. I don't know. Well, if you were down an alleyway with one of like out of the blues, out of the blues, um, who would who would be who would um, you want the last person to be there? Jerome Kaino. Jerome Kaino. Uh, yeah, he's he's uh, he looks like a nice guy, but he can be really not a nice guy. You know? He could be a bigger, bigger yeah, grizzly. Yeah, he can be. <laughs> he's bigger than grizzlies. So. Fair enough. No worries, mate. And also, um, one one last question as well. Um, if you were stuck on an island. Who, and there was no obviously no no communication or anything like that. Who would you want to be on the island with, and why? Out of the blues, uh, probably Randy Rangers, just because he he'll, he'll just make me laugh. They've got a few friends out there that um, 
like uh, call me Kevin Mielama. So I just I just want to get a big shot out there. Sitting next to me. Obviously, we'll be in the front row. Me and Charlie. Me and Kev. No, we're gonna miss you, Kev. Well done on the All Blacks. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. Bryce, pleased to meet you. I'm here today nice with to Bryce, um, one of the coaches for the Blues. Obviously, very exciting. I'm quite nervous. Actually, you know, this guy manhandles everyone in the team. 32, 30 players. And so, um, just got a few questions for you, Bryce, for the fans out there. Um, how, did, how does it feel with having um, three of the nominated RB players, international players of the year? Like, obviously, with Piri Wepu, Manonu, and also Jerry and Kaino. Yeah, very exciting for us. Um, and. If they carry the form from the international season through to Blues next year, you know, we can really build some great performances around those players. And the challenge for them and us is, is to get the best out of, of them, which I'm sure we all will with their determination to see the Blues do well and, and, and uh, Pat and I got us. Right. No worries. So, I mean, obviously, with um, Pity Whip coming into the lineup, um, how, does it, how does that feel with obviously Toby Morton? And, I mean, with. Uh, with so I have Matthewson in, in the play as well as Gareth Adskin. What, what is your plan of attack for 2012 with those two players? Well, one of the things that we, we've really tried to create in the last year or two in, in the Blues is competition. And we think that competition helps drive performance, and, and especially on and off the training path. And so we're not going to say that Perry's definitely going to start here or there. Um, you know, if Albie starts a pre-season and is sensational, um, then... Curry might spend time at 10. Likewise, if, if Gareth or Hobsey are sensational at 10, then Albie and Piri fight, fight at 9. And, and that competition can only be good for the team and the performances. Uh, obviously, with the serious questions out of the way, um, I've got my Blues jersey on. What do, what do you looks think nice, about... actually. Thanks, man. Yeah. Well, obviously, it looks nice. got the heads up from Bryce, so um, I think he might... What do you think about putting me in the team, man? Number two? Yeah, well, I saw it, I saw you hit that scrum machine, and you know, the technique wasn't oh, good. Oh man, was... I was never a front rower. No, I... I was never a front. I actually well, played. You the... like one. I played. I played in the backs. Oh, if you like it. Second, fast. second, third, uh, second five, uh, center and wing. So oh, yeah, great. Be well, surprisingly to be, fast. To be fair, <laughs> would have to see you play. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah. I might have to invite you over sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Happy to do. Well, that. but just um. <laughs> but otherwise, I'm um, also. Um, what, do you, what What are the obviously um, me being Filipino. But I'm looking at Islander. What do you think about me looking like Kevin Mialamu? You do. No. You even sweat like. Yeah, I know. Alamu. Yeah, I know. Let's check it out, guys. Facebook, Twitter. There you go. You guys know I do anyway. But hey, you know, yeah. I've just got a few friends that always yell at me, call me Kevin. It's yeah, well, you, you, you do. And, and Kevin loses about three and a half kg every game. Every so game. You're looking very similar. Yeah. No worries. Bryce, it's been a pleasure to Likewise. meet you. Obviously, um, we rooting for the Blues. All you guys, Facebook and Twitter fans, rooting for the Blues. Let this guy know because he needs. To, you'll be hearing you guys um, shouts on the Facebook and Twitter page. So check it out, Bryce from the Blues. There you go. Cheers. And that's all for me today, guys. Um, really enjoyed myself tonight. Thank you very much to the Blues management for giving me the opportunity to do this. Being your fan reporter, follow me on Twitter at Darwinner23. And also, I just want to big big shout out to all those um, Twitter fans and Facebook fans that left all the questions and comments on our pages, and also followed us and tweeted us. So let us know. But also, thanks to all the Blues players that helped us out. Met Charlie Farmuina, Albert Matthewson, uh, Luke Bray, Rudy Wolf, and also the youngster Gareth Whitcomb. Go the Blues, 2012. Let's get it going. <laughs>